what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling and today we making the appetizer and we doing it with me a b now look you guys read the title you seen the thumbnails you know this is a buffalo chicken dip recipe you know what super easy not getting ready to reinvent the wheel been making this i don't even know how i found out about this recipe but for those of you guys that have never ever made it i'm gonna show you just how easy it is how simple these ingredients are and how inexpensive it is most of all and you can put this out and entertain company you know what i mean hands down everybody gonna be all over you so with that being said let's get right into these recipes and let's make it happen all right as you can see not a whole lot of ingredients it might look like a lot you know what i mean it's nice and colorful we got the orange the white we got red hey and don't act like y'all don't see this you see that hey but i ain't saying nothing just maybe a prediction or two hey but anyway check it out look now you guys know that we can't say nothing you know with the word buffalo in it without saying frank's red hot sauce right so listen we're gonna you know measure out one cup now listen that's the key you guys don't forget to measure out your ingredients you know prior to Right here, we got black pepper, garlic powder, and here, look, this is fresh, and I've already shredded this myself. This is that cheddar cheese right here, as you can see. Listen, this melts the best. I suggest you guys, if you have the time, get yourself the block, and then just go ahead and shred it yourself. And right here, we got mozzarella. This is the mozzarella cheese, and that's it right here from this block. So what I'm gonna do is, after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just shred everything down so that I have it in my refrigerator. And it's best to use that, it doesn't come with that waxy film. And again, it just mixes and melts, the, you know, the best. And then I'll start with this. Listen, we know it's a, it's a chicken uh, dip, right? So when you use chicken, you can do it two ways. For me, I like using a rotisserie chicken. Listen, they've done all the work, only cost a few dollars. You know what I mean, seasoned perfectly. You know what I mean, we just gonna shred that. Or you can use uh, two to three chicken breasts you know, boil those, shred them down. But listen, when you do it that way, man, I, I feel like you gotta like do a lot of seasoning and all that just so that your chicken breasts, you know, come out, you know, just like perfect. But we, we gonna go ahead and just make it an express version. So we already got a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken here. Did I mention this already? All right, so look, we are gonna use a little salt. This is just kosher salt. You are gonna need a little pinch. And then when you got all this hot sauce right here, look, you're gonna tie it all together, and that's gonna be with this uh, this ranch dressing right here. Listen, this is what makes it mellow, so that it's just not super hot or spicy. Here we got green onions. Look at the size. I got some of them that are chopped. Hope you guys can see that. And then we got some that are small. You know, I went ahead and did the small version of it. You know, so it can turn out like uh, you know, like you sprinkle it over top for like a garnish. But just mix it up. And uh, this right here, hey look, this is like a little secret weapon. This right here gives you that flavor of that onion and that's optional, you know what I mean? It's really up to you guys, but I suggest you following this right here. Cause listen, when I make this, I'm not big on a whole lot of uh, hot and spicy, you know, stuff like that. But listen, I eat this and I'm gonna be guilty of eating one of these bowls, I'm sure. And then right here, I got eight ounces of this uh, cream cheese. This is that Philadelphia cream cheese. It needs to be room temperature. So after you watch this video and you say, I'm about to make it, this is the first thing you pull out of your refrigerator. And basically, look, this is, hey, this is it. I mean, I can show you, look, you're gonna need a big bowl. because We're gonna shred and put the, our chicken in the dish right here, all right? And then I got these little porcelain, you know, bowls. Everybody was asking me about, you know, where did I get them from? I'm gonna address that right now. Listen, I bought these from Bed Bath & Beyond. I can't find the exact link, but if you look in my uh, Amazon store, there is a link to something that is very, very similar. Works just the same. And I got two of these. So we finna get right into it. Let's make it happen. Let's get this presentation ready and uh, let's make it happen so that we can uh, watch this game. All right, look, first thing we're gonna do is we finna set our, uh, we're gonna preheat our oven. We're gonna hit bake. We're gonna set it for 375 degrees and we're gonna get that going. Now we're getting ready to shred this chicken and we're gonna go from there. All right, now look, took the top off. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this. This is already, uh, you know, like nice and warm, easy to peel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and listen, we're gonna shred it like this but we're gonna put it in this the bowl right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then the skin right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just peel this skin off because we're not gonna put the skin inside of that. You know what I mean? But you can see the flavor is down into the meat. Uh, and you can't be buying them. And again, listen, if you can get them from your grocery store or it depends on where you live at, because this time of the year it might be cold, any type of smoked meat, all of that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. I'm not gonna bore, bore you guys with like shredding it. 
But look, you can see by looking at the color that, listen, that flavor has gotten all the way down into this meat. So what I'm gonna do is continue on. And then when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna move over to the next step. But right now, let's just get this meat over into this bowl and move forward. Now, got that chicken all stripped down, ain't nothing but a carcass left, right? So this is the first, the first batch. Peeled everything off, removed all of the skin. As you can see, some of it's small, some of it's uh, a little bit bigger. So now I'm getting ready to go through it. I'm gonna find pieces like this right here that I just stripped off. This is some of that dark meat and you just wanna shred it. You wanna get the parts, you know, the pieces a little bit small. You know what I mean? But you want it to have chicken throughout. Every time someone dips, you want that. So I just go through it. This will be my second go round. Just ensuring that some of these longer pieces like this can be just shredded. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with using your, your fingers, your hands, uh, people. You got to do it. Look, stuff like this. You know what I mean? We're just going to break it down. Make it get a little smaller. And then once we're done with this, then we're going to start adding our ingredients. So, all right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to start off with my dry ingredients. That's going to be the easiest thing to mix with this, right? Because this is semi-dry right here. So we'll start with this pepper and this garlic powder. Just add that. All right? Get yourself a wooden spoon. You know, and then we're just going to give it a mix. Man, with this chicken, the aroma from that, and just hitting it with these dry spices. And hey, this right here is enough to make you just want to put put some on some brioche bread, a little mayo, and get yourself a nice sandwich. Got that done. I'm going to slide this up. We're going to move this over. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our cream cheese. Let me get this open. It's nice and soft. It's been out for about, about an hour. I can feel it. This room temperature. So we'll get this together. Now remember, room temperature is key. Listen, if it's room temperature, you won't work as hard. Now, I'm gonna just take it. I'm gonna use this spoon. I might have to get another one. We just gonna keep working it back and forth. We just wanna get it all broke down and get it incorporated, you know, into the dish. Didn't take long at all. So, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead, now we're gonna add our hot sauce. And we're gonna give that a little whirl. You can see it's starting to come together right now. Listen, that loosens up some of that, that cream cheese also. Hey, when you say buffalo, hey, look at it and tell me what you think about that color right there. I'm not gonna go ahead and give it no whole complete, you know, mix up right now. It's gonna come together. Next our ranch dressing. I'm gonna leave a recipe down at the bottom. If you guys watch one of, my, one of my videos, I made it from scratch. I'll put the recipe down in the description box below, you know, right underneath this uh, recipe. So we'll just add this. Now, after you got your ranch in there, listen, you wanna go ahead and give it a thorough mix. And listen, you'll see the color, you know, that red or that orangish color along with that white gives you what you, you know, you're familiar with, the color of, you know, regular buffalo, anything. Now, look at that right there. Now, what you didn't see is I added my green onions to it. I held back about a little bit over, a uh, little bit under a handful because we're going to top some at the end. But you can see it right there in there. Now, obviously, I'm using two bowls. That's cool. But listen, you can do it that way. Make sure they oven safe. Or you can get yourself a nine by nine, you know, dish, you know, that's oven safe that'll go in there. And this is what I saved back so I can garnish the top, right? So you just want to put that on there. And then that half a cup that you have with that mozzarella and that cheddar, go ahead and just start topping it again. And it's nothing wrong. If you got more, you want to put more cheese, you can. And there you have it. Let me bring it closer so you guys can see. Now we're getting ready to put these in the oven, right? We're going to put it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to set a timer for 20 minutes. We're going to take a look at it and see how it is. If it's starting to bubble, you know, around here where it's starting to get nice and hot, you can only imagine that the shredded cheese inside of the actual rant, uh, the buffalo dip is really, really melted. Listen, we're going to take it out. And then for me, I like to brown my top. So I would turn my, I'm going to tell you this, listen, turn your oven up to 450 degrees or 500 or whatever, and then stick it in there. And then we just going to put it in there for about, I say up to five minutes. We just want to make sure that we get this brown to your liking, and then we take it out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Remember, set a timer for 20 minutes. Now, look at that right there. You can see right here where it's cooking. That's from that cheese, that chicken, just everything. And look at how the, the, uh, the cheese melted on top along with that green onion. 
Hey, I can't do nothing but say my mouth is watering. I'm gonna show you guys the second one. We're gonna go ahead and just put this one right here. You know, there you guys can see it. Hey, it looks good just like this, right? But we're gonna go ahead and brown these. Now, you don't have to, but I like to brown my top just a little bit. So now I'm getting ready to crank up my uh, oven to 450 degrees, and then uh, we're gonna go from there. Now, when they come out of the oven after being brown, that's what they look like. Look at the edges right there. I like them to be a little bit crisp. Remember, key thing, you gotta keep your eyes on them. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. I know you gotta say this is like super easy and the presentation is there. So listen, if you're talking about doing something for game day or even just putting something out, you know, for your friends, but with all of that talking, I'm finna slide this over here with to me. I'm gonna go ahead and get me some of this. Oh yeah. Hey, check it out. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough about it. Listen, if you never had it, you gotta try it. And listen, for those of you guys that are thinking, like you can't really do nothing spicy, I'ma go ahead and raise my hand right now and just say, hey, ooh, ooh, teacher pick me. So I can say, I don't really do that hot and spicy myself, but this right here got a smooth blend. It's nice. I haven't drank anything, you know, after that bite. And uh, hey, I don't wanna over target. I'm finna tear right into this. I hope you guys like this. Get down for your uh, Super Bowl that's coming up. Hey, so now listen, with that being said, let me just take this time to say, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and say, hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how we finna get out of here, folks. I'm out of here. Peace.